going to make three bags of potatoes. Uh, these ones are starting. <laughs> Okay, friends, so here's a quick update on Liam's little garden. We did this back in September 21st. These are the f four that made it. I think it was four out of six made it. The other two didn't make it. So as you can see, I have... This is all the sunshine I get. So I'm probably going to start planting some seeds in here. These ones here, they didn't make it. The, the lizards. See, 921. The lizards attacked my... But I didn't have a covering for this one. So I'll probably try again later. Today I'm going to sow some seeds. Okay, so as you can see, I really clean my place up here hey look I'm wondering if this little guy will make it I got it going up here so I cleaned my area here and here's my potato socks look at that my potatoes have been growing like crazy they're doing pretty good so far. I got the dirt all the way up here, so I'm hoping to get some reasonable potatoes. And there's the rest of the place. <clears throat> it's all cleaned out. And my bell pepper, my marigold. This was only one marigold that I transplanted. You can see right here. And it just took off from one little small marigold to a nice little bush of them. And then here is my bell pepper. It's the only bell pepper I have so far. Here is my butternut squash. Looks like I have a little butternut right here. A little squash forming. Here's Luna McTuna. She'll be leaving soon. That's my daughter-in-law's cat. She's got two black cats. So they'll be leaving in another... That's right. My grandson and my... They're going to be leaving in another week. One more week. And here's my jalapeno plant. Plant that never stops giving. And you notice I took out all the watermelon plants almost and left this one. This one was here. I just let it be. And my rosemary's back here and everything else. Like I said, it doesn't get any sun. I mean, I could probably do some lettuce here or something. Spinach. But I think for the most part, I'm just going to do some growing in the containers over by that area. I showed you where there's a little bit of sun. <sighs> That's about it, friends. This is all I'm doing for now until I sow my lettuce and my cilantro and Swiss chard and whatever else greens I'm going to sow some carrots too hopefully that pesky little lizards are hiding somewhere because it's getting cold out so yeah just a quick update of my garden
All right, so I came home and I found that black shelf, which I tossed away already. Black shelf had these Liam's little containers on them and they fell over and this one here didn't make it. This one here didn't make it. I think this is, these are the only two that made it. I was able to kind of plant it in the sugar beet and I think this is, um, I don't remember, the sticks popped off of them. Swiss chard, I think this is Swiss chard, I didn't do any spinach, I think it's Swiss chard or kale, anyways, here's the update on Liam's little garden, micro garden here, and an update on the cucumber. That's it. It's the only cucumber that got fertilized and growing. There's my potato sacks. Looks like they're doing pretty good. Planted these the last week of September. So we've already gone through a whole month. Two more months. Marigolds are looking good. This used, I remember I transplanted one marigold, little small plant like this, little small. I uprooted it so I could put the grass down. And it really flourished into this big old bouquet of marigolds. It'll be, there's a lot of little small buds here. It'll be wonderful for next springtime to attract as much, to attract as much, uh, bees and other helpful insects let's see how <gasps> Whoa, did you... Oh, you look at that my one and only look I had a nice I cannot have anything out here I had a nice um, butternut squash right here and something ate it Oh, I'm so irritated right now. You can't have anything out here. Look at this is being eaten. That was like my only butternut squash so far. Here's one more back here. Oh, I don't know what to do. These, I don't know if it's the lizards, but I had one like this. Where am I? Right here. Right here. And it was a big size one too. It was growing. It's getting really irritating with these. I wish they'd come and eat some of these jalapeno peppers. This poor jalapeno plant is just falling over. I need to really pluck them big time. Really need to harvest these. I have enough in my freezer already. Yeah, there's no sight here on the watermelon plant. I'm just going to leave it for a while. All right, friends. So this is just an update on, on my little garden. I haven't really planted anything new, especially with those little troublemakers around my yard. But this is really growing. I don't think this is a strawberry plant. I think it's some kind of a, I don't know. Could be a weed that looks like a strawberry plant. But there was one, one, and it grew into all these. So I don't know if it came from the dirt that I purchased. Bag dirt. Because I didn't plant any strawberry seeds or plants here. 